In this video, I'm going to show you a simple tip that's going to make every coverage you run better. I think this is a great tip for match. Um, it's a great tip for really any defense you're running, though. And really what it comes down to is kind of using your adjustments to key in on certain things, actually make your defense better. A great tip for you today out of the big nickel over G. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to get access to all of my Madden strategy guys, including this big nickel over G defense, I would really encourage you to jump into my Patreon membership. It's only $10 to sign up for that, and that gets you access to all 25 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. And in addition to that, you also get our weekly update videos with just different pro tips to kind of keep you on top of the meta. And uh, just a great little thing. So if you want, if you want to join that, it'll, like I said, it'll teach you all the stuff. So um, that'll be linked down in the description. But today I want to take a look at verticals, and I uh, just wanted to show you a concept that I really, really have been running a lot now. Um, just with the way that match coverage can merge really nicely with man coverage, I think this makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to use the play here, cover four quarters. You could do this out of any coverage in this. Um, and you could also do this out of cover four palms as well. So basically the concept's fairly simple. We're just going to kind of in intelligently look at a formation and say, what is the match coverage of principles? And then how can we help it, help it if you will? Okay, so one of the principles that we get in match coverage is a solo check and basically what that boils down to is whenever you have a trips to the right side of the formation and you have a spread out receiver our solo wide receiver to the left the defense will automatically check the coverage into a solo check and what that basically means is that this defender here douglas is not actually playing him in a uh, outside quarter he's actually going to be in meg coverage or man everywhere he goes so wherever that player goes he's going to play him man to man so a helpful little thing that you might consider doing is manning this guy up because he's already basically playing in a man-to-man -man principle now the same thing is true on the running back the running back is in meg coverage essentially by this guy right here and so where that can become problematic is in things like slant routes and things like um, motion slants wheels stuff like that so what you can do is you can take this guy right here and put him what i like to do anyways is essentially we're going to shade underneath and then we're going to either put him in a hard flat or we're going to put him in a curl flat now, i like the curl flat the best and then this guy right here you can change his adjustments um, i'll show you how to do that in just a second but we can put him into the hard flat or we could take him and really do a lot of different things with him one of my favorite adjustments is to put him into a middle third and then now i can basically take this guy right here and put him into a curl flat and then i have this guy as a three rack hook so you see there's just different things that you can do and then you can use this guy if you want to now the way that you change that slot corner package is um, you just have to flick your right joystick to the left one time at the play call menu and if you look at the package thing here it's going to say slot corner so that is going to bring up the slot corner menu so you can now what you can do off of this is really interesting so you can go ahead and take this guy right here and put him in a curl flat you've got this guy over here in a curl flat you get this guy in man coverage on this guy right here and then now you got a couple decisions to make just in terms of your coverage one of the decisions that you need to make is what are your additional adjustments who's your user all that stuff so what i like to do in this defense is always deep half this guy just especially against bunch it just helps a lot with the bombs and things like that um but then i love this zone right here especially out of show blitz i love this guy man to man and then you see here the coverage is going to basically be intact now what we can do here on the left side is we can go ahead and drop the linebacker or the d end into a bluff blitz assignment now what a lot of times that's going to do is it's going to have him basically in man coverage on the running back a lot of times another thing that we can do that i really like or another adjustment that i really like kind of a two-folded one but i would recommend um taking this d end over here and doing one of two things either vert hooking him or manning him up on the tight end 
But what you're going to see here is if they run the play verticals, this is a pretty decent adjustment. And you're going to notice something really cool um, on this left side. What you're going to notice on this left side is that this inside corner is going to absolutely bag the crosser because of where he's at on the field. And you're going to see right here, he literally just, I mean, you can't throw that. You really can't throw that. That's a really, really baity zone. The other thing that I like about that zone, a lot of people will try to throw the ball kind of right here. If you throw this right here, that's very close to being a quick off interception. And then the other thing is because we have this guy manned up, you're going to see that this guy is not going to get dumbed out by anything. He's going to stay with this guy all the way across the field. Now on the back side here, the biggest thing, in my opinion, biggest threat is the tight end wheel. You see that we kind of have bracketed coverage on the tight end wheel, which is not terrible at all. Um, as you can see, real simple. And then this guy right here is kind of lurking, you know, that outside vertical route. You see fairly decent coverage across the board. You've got this bracket coverage down here on the running back. Like I said, that D end is going to basically be in man on the running back. Um, and then as you can see right there, you know, really decent little coverage. Now, the really important thing that I want to drive home here is that you need to always have at least four people blitzing. What I mean by that is you want to make sure that when you do this, that you are using a bluff blitz from one of your DNs. If you're going to drop both of them, you're going to use a bluff blitz. That's going to make sure that the game will count that as a blitzer. And then you're going to want to, you know, do whatever other adjustments. So if you want to put him in a curl flat, if you want to put him in a vertical hook, whatever you want him to do. But then you want to make sure that you you blitz your user okay and the reason why is because if you don't blitz your user the game won't count it because when you drop this guy to zone now you only have three but because of my blitzed user now i have four people uh blitzing the quarterback now let me give you another route combination let's try a little wheel route to the back side here and i'll show you how this defends it defends it fairly well out of verticals um what you're going to see again that man coverage adjustment and then you've got that little kind of bracketed coverage there very difficult to throw a wheel route and then you've also got again the inside quarter stuff so really fun little defense here there's a lot of other things that you could do on this honestly uh if you if you put this guy whoops if you put this guy in a vert hook one of the things that you can do is this vert hook from from the defensive end is pretty good for the tight end wheel i'll show you so if you if you, and you don't need to really worry about the running backs so you're kind of right there but you see right there that's kind of a hard throw and it's a really tight window to where you could even throw that to make a completion okay and so the the real beauty of this is that you know you're kind of in a position where this really doesn't i mean it doesn't completely stop everything they can do from this formation but it does do a good job against some of the best things that they can do and the and I think that's an important distinction. But the best things that they can do, right? Let's talk about let's talk about another one. This smash return play with a skinny post. What I love about this coverage is because we've manned this guy up, this guy is free to help. If there's no crosser, he's free to help. So what you'll see with this is we'll actually should get a double team. Um, should get a double team on this, and I'll show you that real quick. So you'll see right here. Watch this quarter zone. See how he'll lurk that post, and he's got really good leverage. He, I don't know why he froze at the top, but he's got really good leverage, so he'll be able to lurk that post. I'll show that again real quick. So just go to smash return, skinny post, and let me throw a curl flat. Kind of fix everything the way I want it. But what you'll see is that this inside quarter he can either lurk that slant right there or he can lurk the post. So he he kind of he kind of does a little bit of both. So anyways, let me show it one more time. And again, you want to man up that solo receiver. Um if you're if you really want to man up that solo receiver, honestly, if you're worried if you're worried about skinny post, you don't necessarily want to man him up um just just because of the way the coverage will work. But if you're not worried too much about skinny post, then I would 100% man him up. If you are worried about skinny post the man up will still be fine like you'll still be fine so anyways i'm gonna show you one more time here watch this inside quarter you see him lurking the post up the top so you get a double team on the post you also have great underneath coverage with this you can stop a lot of the stuff that they want to do and then i didn't even get into corner routes but because we're in match coverage 
um, the box check on the left side is super effective for stopping corner routes and I'll just kind of give you just a brief taste of this so I'm gonna go to Z spot and go and this is the zone that is the best zone in the game for quarter routes this outside quarter out of a match coverage is really 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 good and what you'll see here is that inside quarter because we brought that inside quarter down he's really free to help out a lot better on the backside dig so you're going to be kind of in here you'll see the corner route is completely bagged and then look at that dig it's really not that open as you can see with the coverage so this is one of the main reasons why i love this defense so much this is a quarters coverage that you can use out of a bunch some great adjustments for it but really the principle that i wanted to get across is man up different players in your match coverage based off your principles and a lot of times you'll find that it will actually improve your match coverage again we teach all that into our patreon we've got a whole ebook devoted to teaching the match coverage principles from cover four quarters to cover three buzz match week all of the cover threes and the cover four coverages so if you want to check all that out you can get into the patreon get everything for only ten dollars you can sign up down below there's a link in the description below if you want to sign up thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time